Tanya Tagak, Mars Festival 2012 Tanya Tagak CM, also credited as Tagak, is a Canadian Enoch Throat singer from Cambridge Bay, Nunavut, Canada, on the south coast of Victoria Island. At the age of 15, after attending school in Cambridge Bay, Tagak went to Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, to attend Sir John Franklin High School where she first began to practice throat singing. She later studied visual arts at the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design and Wilder developed her own solo form of Inuit throat singing, which is normally done by two women. Her decision to go solo was a pragmatic one, she did not have a singing partner. Tugak was a popular performer at Canadian folk festivals, such as Folk on the Rocks in 2005, and first became widely known both in Canada and internationally for her collaborations with Bjork, including concert tours and the 2004 album Medulla. She has also performed with the Kronos Quartet and Shugal Nifty and has been featured on the Aboriginal People's Television Network. In 2005, her CD entitled Sina was nominated for five awards at the Canadian Aboriginal Music Awards. At the ceremony on October 25, 2005, the CD won awards for Best Producer slash Engineer, Best Album Design and Tagak herself won the Best Female Artist Award. Sina was nominated for the 2006 Juno Awards as the Best Aboriginal Recording. Although primarily known for her throat singing, Tagak is also an accomplished artist and her work was featured on the 2003 Northwest L Telephone Directory. Her 2008 album Ox Slash Blood features collaborations with Mike Patton, among others. In 2011, she released a live album titled Inuraktuk. It was recorded during Tagak's performance at the Festival International de Musique Actuelle in Victoriaville. In 2012 Tagak performed the theme music for the CBC television show Arctic Air. Tugak released her third album, Animism, on May 27, 2014, on Six Shooter Records. The album was a shortlisted nominee for the 2014 Polaris Music Prize, her first nomination for that award, and won the $30,000 award on September 22, 2014. The album also won the Juno Award for Aboriginal Recording of the Year at the Juno Awards of 2015, and was nominated for Alternative Album of the Year. Her fourth album Retribution was released in October 2016. Her show in Toronto in November was sold out. In May 2018, Tagak announced her first book, a blend of fiction and memoir titled Split Tooth, which was published in September 2018 by Penguin Random House. The book was named as a long-listed nominee for the 2018 Scotiabank Giller Prize and was shortlisted for the 2019 Amazon. CA First Novel Award. In 2005, Tagak collaborated with Okna Chanzam, a Kalmud Kume throat singer, and Wimi, a Sami yiker from Finland, to release the recording Shaman Voices. She began collaborating with the Kronos Quartet in 2005. Since then, they have performed together at venues across North America, from the January 2006 debut of the Project Nunavut at the Chan Center for the Performing Arts in Vancouver, British Columbia, through to the New York Spring for Music Festival at Carnegie Hall presentation of composer Derek Chark's 13 Inuit Throat Song Games. In 2015, Tagak was commissioned to write a piece for the Kronos Quartet's 50 for the Future project. Tagak collaborated with composer Christos Hatzis, author Joseph Boyden and the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra on the score for the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's Going Home Star, Truth and Reconciliation. Which won a 2017 Juno Award for Classical Album of the Year, Large Ensemble. In 2017, Tagak and fellow Polaris laureate Buffy St. Marie collaborated on the single You Got to Run, which appeared on St. Marie's album Medicine Songs. The song was inspired by George Atla, a champion dog sled racer from Alaska. Tugak has also appeared as a guest vocalist on songs by July Talk and Weaves. Tugak is a vocal supporter of traditional Inuit sealing and indigenous land rights. In March 2014, Ellen DeGeneres donated $1.5 million to the Humane Society of the United States, an outspoken critic of the Canadian seal hunt. As a counter-response, people began posting seal fees, pictures of themselves wearing seal skin or eating seal meat. As part of this viral media campaign, Tagak posted a picture of her young daughter lying beside a dead seal on Twitter. The seal had been killed to feed a group of local elders and is an essential part of an Enoch diet, eaten by necessity and tradition. The image caused backlash by animal rights activists, who directed online abuse and threats towards Tagak. During her Polaris Music Prize acceptance speech, she encouraged people to wear and eat seal, and shouted, Fuck PETA, which enraged animal rights activists. Inuit have been arguing since the 1980s that any attack on the seal hunt is an attack on the indigenous hunt, because it destroys the market for furs. 
Subsequently, Tagak tweeted, I had a scrolling screen of 1,200 missing and murdered indigenous women at the Polaris Gala but people are losing their minds over seals. In 2016, Tagak reported that she had been banned from Facebook for posting a photo of a seal skin coat. In 2016, Tagak was named one of the 16 indigenous movers and shakers to watch in 2016, for her work as an activist, especially related to fighting systemic racism. Work on drawing attention to the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women, and for her support of indigenous cultural preservation such as seal hunting. In 2020 she provided narration in the music video for End of the Road, a protest song about the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women by the rock band Crown Lands. Thanks for watching.